Hey everyone, it's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and I am so glad that you are here. Look what I got from Diamond Art Club. Inside is our sneak peek for the weekend coming up this Saturday. The artist is Sarah Richter and I just want to tell you she's an amazing German artist. I was reading a little bit about her illustration. She said that she grew up in a small town and she loved spending time drawing and she was always inspired by magic and um, mythological beings. Um, accompanied by the dark beauty and melancholy of the night and you can just see that in her artwork um, and so I here are some images that Diamond Art Club already has that you can grab um, if, if you know you want to see what's going on before this sneak peek so you can see the details in the art it's absolutely gorgeous and especially if you need to pick up two things to get yourself the free shipping grab one of these grab this one and then you have yourself a little start to a collection um so yes i'm so excited so let's flip this camera around and let's dive in and see what this artist has in store for us this Welcome back everyone. I am so glad to be here. I do apologize um, halfway through the unboxing that I did. My newborn son decided to that he needed his mother. And so instead of having you hear a crying baby in the background, I went ahead and um, started this over, but I didn't want to put it back in the box. So it did come in this beautiful box right here that Diamond Art Club has. And it does show right here that it's going to be a round diamond kit. And this particular piece is a 55 by 8 centimeter I'm sorry, 55.8 centimeter by 70.6 centimeter. And I really like anything in the 50s on one side, and then it can be as long or tall as it needs to be. All right. And are you guys ready to see? It is Lady Moth. Yes, like I said, um, Lady Moth by Sarah Richter. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. So we're going to get a look at the, the drills and the toolkit. Here is a better picture. As you can see, isn't that gorgeous? I cannot wait to see the pinks and the reds and the blues that are in that. It does have um, 37 colors. Any number below 150 is going to be an AB. So this is three ABs, 103, 131, and 140. But if you look over here, this is curious. I have not seen um, an image with L310. We have normal 310 and this is L310. So let's take a look and see what that is when we go through these wonderful drills. Like I said, they are round. I like that they're labeled. So if you do separate your drills from your canvas, you'll have them labeled and you connect them with your canvas either through the number or through the words Lady Moth. Now some people uh, get aggravated over the crinkle. I just think the crinkling means that the fun is about to start. Okay, so all these beautiful colors. This is called a train, which is how they're packaged. Usually they're packaged the most drills to the least drills. So let's look at these drills. So we have these beautiful colors and if you look inside the package there's no trash that I can see that's evident. So these gorgeous colors, there's your 890 which is like a dark green, here's some of your 310s. So we have three things, sets of 310 but look at these peaches and these pinks. Okay so there's the 103. There's a lot of ABs in there. I can't wait to see where they go. Um, there's three 814s. I love this burgundy color. Okay, and then you've got the, um, 3371s, some light pinks, peaches, greens, some more peaches, some fabulous blues. We're going to go to this train here. 
right? So you've got some beautiful greens and reds. There's, um, right here is your other AB. Some pinks. Look at all these pinks. Oh, that's a pretty pink right there. And here's your third AB, that blue. Some browns, some more pinks, some yellows. I'm just kind of going through these real quickly. You can see these are the smaller. That's what brings out some of the detail, so to speak. Okay, so here's some of the smaller, meaning smaller, meaning less amounts. What do we have here? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's flip this over and see what this is. This is that L310. This is going to be your crystals. I have never had a diamond art club with a crystal. So I cannot wait to see where those are going to go. So I'm going to move these off to the side. So you get two stickers. This is your big sticker sheet. This has, you can put your start date, your end date. It's round, the size. And then over here, it has these little tabs that you can pull off but you know, use the ones with the symbols. And you can put those if you're using plastic bags, if you're using plastic containers, whatever you want um, to list where your drills are in when you cut the package. Then the second sticker you can put in your log book. Many people have log books or journals. Um, I also have a book that's a log book that I've written. Um, down below is the link, feel free. This is the perfect size for that log book. Then you have a toolkit inside the toolkit. Now, as I said, I opened it already because I had started this video. So I won't be as surprised as I was the first time, but you're gonna get the wax, you're gonna get a tray, some baggies, you're gonna get a random washi tape, and then um, this is a blue sparkly pen, single placer, and you get a seven and four placer with it. And then you get a random cover minder, which is gonna hold back your cover. There's a magnet that goes underneath your canvas, and then the fun little cover minder that goes on top, and that keeps your cover away from the area you're working on. So I'm going to just throw these back in here so I don't misplace them. Okay, now let's get to the part that you wanted to see. I'm sure that's the part you've already fast forwarded through to see. Not a problem. Are you ready? So we're going to flip this canvas Oh my goodness, look at the beauty. Now first off, the canvas on the back has that velvet feeling. I still remember the first time I opened my first EAC. All right, so you've got cord glue, clear canvas, as you can see right through it. You're gonna have your key in the upper left. You're also gonna have your key in the lower right at the bottom. You're going to have your thumbnail pasting area. That's how you know if it's a full drill, partial, because the pasting area is going to show you where all the drills are. This is a full drill. You're going to have who the artist is, have all your social media and your guarantee here. But this image is absolutely fantastic. All right, so looking at this, I can't wait to do these roses and her hair. The roses have a lot of that, like, it's a peach color in it, like a, um, I don't know, it's not salmon, coral maybe, like a pink meets coral. Um, those are all in the roses and in her hair. The blue is through the moths, very scattered. Not all this blue is AB. Most of it is in the big moth right here. Um, then your twos, which is that yellow I showed you, is through the moths as well. But what's interesting is all the black that make up the moths are that crystal. So these moths are going to really pop. And um, if you listen to my opening about Sarah's artwork, she just has this amazing ability to bring in the emotion with the artwork and realism. And I think that those crystals are really going to help this canvas pop in a way that it would not have before. Um, this does have a lot of 310, but not overwhelming. 
This is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to work on it. This again is called um, Lady Moth and I'm going to have a link down below to Diamond Art Club that you can go and check this out as well. So thank you so so much for watching this sneak peek. I hope to be able to bring you more in the future and I would love to hear um, what your first Diamond Art Club was down below in the comments if you wish to share and then I'll share what mine was. Um, it, it might surprise you. So until next time, be blessed. Take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.